Hey guys. Welcome to our channel. Civil Engineering Guru. Hope you all are fine. As you all know that our discussion is about surveying. So today's our topic is trilateration. So move towards our today's topic, introduction. Trilateration is a method of control extension, control breakdown, and control densification that employs electronic distance measuring instruments to measure the lengths of triangle sides rather than horizontal angles as in triangulation the triangle angles are then calculated based upon measured distances by the familiar law of cosines trilateration consists of a system of joined and overlapping triangles usually forming quadrilaterals or polygons with supplemental horizontal angle observations to provide azimuth control or check angles zenith angles are required where elevations have not been established or differential leveling is not contemplated in order to reduce slope distances to a common reference datum use of trilateration Trilateration is commonly employed to study gradual and secular movements in the Earth's crust, in areas subject to seismic or tectonic activity, to test and construct defense and scientific facilities, and on high precision engineering projects. It is also used in control expansion or densification for future metropolitan growth, coastline control inland waterways, control extension, densification for land subdivisions and construction, and deformation surveys of dams, geothermal areas, structures, regional, local tectonics, and landslides. Trilateration can be used for a simple low-order topographic survey covering a small area, or on large projects for the design and construction of highways bridges dams or even to extend topographic mapping control from small tracks to regional areas it can be a simple process with single line measurements using ordinary off-the-shelf electronic distance measuring instruments and support equipment or it can be a complex process employing highly refined electronic distance measuring instruments with special measures for determining the refractive index correction and eccentric measurements to an eccentric or offset bar at either the reflector or instrument station with instrument occupations at both ends of the line advantages of trilateration trilateration is a practical and highly accurate means of rapid control extension when properly executed it is superior to both triangulation and traverse. 4. Special purpose precise surveys, and often is the preferred method because of its advantageous cost benefit ratio and potential. Basic trilateration is less expensive than classical triangulation and, under most conditions, more accurate trilateration permits controlling large and small geographical areas with a minimum number of personnel it is not required to measure lines with all sites simultaneously in position as with triangulation unless the procedure of line pairs is being employed trilateration also provides necessary scale control lacking in triangulation disadvantages of trilateration Trilateration has a smaller number of internal checks compared with classical triangulation, where each quadrilateral contains two diagonals called braces, hence, braced quadrilateral and has four triangle closures, three of which are independent. Additionally, there are other checks consisting of agreements between common sides of the triangles side equation tests the number of checks or redundancies in a braced quadrilateral 
in triangulation is four. In trilateration, there is only one. Trilateration can be reinforced by modified observational techniques to provide the same number of redundancies as triangulation by employing the group or ratio method of length measurement. In order to employ this technique, the length of a line must be measured from both ends. Cost then becomes a limiting factor. Geometric restrictions, which limit the selection of locations where stations can be established, may cause difficulty in fully utilizing trilateration networks to place control at specially needed sites. If you guys like our today's video, then like, comment our today's video, and subscribe our channel, Civil Engineering Guru.